Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And what I've got here is a little bit of a complicated median problem. Um, reason why is because I take issue with GED students in that um, a lot of them don't want to listen to me about mean, median, mode, and range because they say, Kate, Kate, I've done this a hundred times. No reason to cover this again in class. And yet, when it comes to the kind of problems that they see on the GED, they often get tricked. Why? Because the math test is a reasoning test, not a computation test. So it's not about, do you know how to find mean, median, mode, and range necessarily? More like, do you know what it is? Can you do some reasoning about it? So let's take a look at this very um, tricky type problem. Let's, let's see what it says. It says a data set consists of the following values. And I'll spare you uh, me reading off all these values here, but you can see that they gave us a list of numbers. But then look at this, and an unknown number x. There's some number we don't know. And then they tell us something about that number. They say that x is the median of the set. And then they want us to get which, which of the following is a possible value for x. So let us, like the GED requires, reason our way through this. So here's what we do know. We don't know what x is, but we do know something about x's placement. It says x is the median of the set. Remember what a median is. A median is the center most number in an ordered list. Center most number in an ordered list. So I think the first thing I'll do is I will go ahead and order my list and then I'll figure out uh, where X lies. So let's go ahead and order this list here. I'm looking for my smallest number. Looks like that's a 16. And then I have a couple of 17s. And even if you have repeats, you should write them both down. Uh, I've got an 18, a 19. I'm putting these in numerical order. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you go first to last or last to first, you know, smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Just matters that you put them in order. So I got 20, uh, 22, 23. What's next? 29. This looks like the ages of GED students. I bet that's what it is. Okay, 29, 32, 36. And 42. But the thing I don't have placed in here yet is I don't have X placed in here. Now, I know X is the median number, meaning it's exactly in the middle. So I will just do my usual one off the front, one off the back, one off the front, one off the back, and so on and so forth. This isn't the only way to find the middle. Uh, one off the front, one off the back, and I just found the middle of my list. Right here would be the exact center of my list. This is where X would belong. So now the interesting thing is I don't know what X is, but because I've placed him into this ordered list, I know the range he has to fall in. Look at that. X is somewhere between 20 and 22. There's not a whole lot of options. There's not a whole lot of numbers that could fall in that list between 20 and 22. Smallest I could be is 20. Largest as I could be is 22. And so the only number out of my selections that fall in that range is 20. The only possibility in this list is 20. Now, could it X be 21? Could X be 22? Yeah, sure could be. I don't know what X is, but this is the only possibility out of these multiple choice answers here. So which of the following is a possible value for X? 20 is. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.